Hello everyone, um, today I'm going to explain to you um, about my action research project which was about motivating EFL elementary students by enriching lessons with technology. So what was the problem, what was my problem? Um, I had uninterested students in English class, um, meaning there was a problem with motivation. Why was this important? Why did I have, uh, have to fix this? Since there was low motivation, there was also low attention, participation, bad behavior, like uh, activity and task completion problems, uh, low homework completion. Um, how did this issue arise? Well, uh, English is not an official subject at the elementary school where I work, so grades um, do not affect students. Uh, students get the idea that that English is not important and students uh, became uninterested in English decreasing the amount of motivation they had towards learning the English language. So I had to find a way to increase student motivation to improve their learning, their language learning. <clears throat> now I'm going to tell you about um, some of the literature um, that I reviewed, that I found on motivation and technology. Defining motivation. Harmer defines motivation as an internal drive that pushes us to do something. That's the general definition of motivation. Now Gardner tells us that motivation specifies the amount of effort and desire a student has to learn the target language. This tells us how important motivation is to learn language learning. <clears throat> the types of motivation. Dekki and Ryan tells us that there exist two types of motivation, intrinsic and extrinsic motivation. Now intrinsic motivation, that, uh, according to Dekki and Ryan, is that people are encouraged to perform an action uh, just for the fun or the challenge involved in the action. Now intrinsic motivation provokes a person to do something just because uh, it leads to a separable outcome or a separable goal. Technology and language learning. Spurning tells us that by enriching the learning environment with technology uh, provides better learning results. Now Thomas tells us that integrating technology increases students participation and engages them more in language learning. Now, what's the relation between technology and motivation? Shiny and Phil tell us that technology offers students a sense of reality that cultivates students' interests and increases their motivation. Gang tells us that students can be easily motivated when we use technology. So by that I obtained the idea that by implementing technology I could increase my students motivation. Now I'm going to talk to you about the methodology I used in this action research. Now the location of the research took place in Tabasco Zacatecas in an elementary school named Benito Juarez. The participants were a group of fifth graders made up of 20 students, 10 males and 10 females, um, around the age of 10 and 11, with an English level of beginner advanced. Now, the project uh, took, play, took 10 weeks, 5 weeks, we dedicated to implement students with uh, normal lessons with te without technology, and 5 weeks, were, uh, students were given lessons enriched with technology. Now, during each lesson, their participation, attention, behavior, activities, and tests completed, homework completion, and students' opinions were all recorded. Also at the beginning and at the end of the research, um, they were given a motivation intensity questionnaire so we could compare their motivation and see if there was a change. And also at the end, the, um, four students were interviewed to see what they felt to determine their motivation. Now, 
What technology was implemented into to enrich their English lessons? Which was an LCD projector and a laptop computer which permitted us to access the internet, PowerPoint, videos, and audio. The project. Um, now I'm going to summarize the results and the claims I made. In normal lessons, students display low interest in English, that they thought lessons were boring, unorganized, and activities were too repeated. They often felt confused and nervous. This tells us that they had a low amount of motivation. Now in technology enhanced lessons, students displayed high interest in English, they thought lessons were interesting, activities were fun and organized, and they felt comfortable and relaxed. This tells us that motivation had increased. Now attention, we also recorded attention, and attention increased by 186%. Participation increased by 78%. Behavior problems decreased by 48%. Activity and task completion increased by 22%. Homework completion also increased by an incredibly 94%. Now what are the claims? The claims I made according to the evidence is that by enriching lessons with technology, uh, we make lessons more interesting. And by making lessons more interesting, we can increase students' motivation. And by increasing student motivation, we also improve student, students' attention, participation, we improve their behavior activity and task completion and homework completion. This takes us to our most uh, important claim, which is by enriching lessons with technology, we develop and increase intrinsic motivation in our students. What's the significance of this research? For me, um, this, re this project has made me um, know about the importance and influence of technology in motivation and also about the importance of generating student motivation. I now have improved my teaching skills. I also know about the importance, uh, the prominence of enriching students' language lessons to keep them motivated. What's the significance to education and to other people? Now, colleagues have learned that, that the, about the influence of technology has on students. Many of my colleagues that work with me have began to implement technology themselves. And other teachers, uh, other teachers that may have access to this research can also help them generate student motivation. Now, technology improves with every day that goes by. Um, suggesting that in the future, as new technological devices become available to teachers to implement into their language lessons, um, th this means that they are going to have to assess that technology to see if it, what effects it has on their students. So this project will help them um, serve as a base to help, uh, help them use the methodology, the steps used, uh, and use the steps I made and help them determine, create their own theory towards education and language learning. Now that is basically all. I hope you enjoyed this and thank you very much. Goodbye.